Welcome again. This is another postcard from uh, Germany. Today we have an interesting story. It's about John, John Mayol. Interestingly, John Mayol was a planned international staff. He was a local staff in Jongle, based in the capital, Boa. But when the fighting took uh, started, he had to take off with his family, and now he finds himself being a refugee. At first, when we met him, he was in Zaip refugee camp. But uh, quite recently we met with him again and he had been moved to Nyomanzi refugee settlement. But here John shares his perspectives from a disaster risk management point of view because he's been working in the field with us. And listen to his story and share his perspectives too. We are here at the IP refugee, it's like a transit center and uh, we have John. John happens to be an employee of Plan International, but he also displaced from board. So he's a refugee here in Uganda. How are you, John? I'm oh, fine. Tell us about your experience from Bor up to Uganda. How was it? Well, uh, it was not so good, but with God's help, we have made it to Uganda. And we feel safe, though the situation is not yet okay. Yes. We feel safe. Uh, who are you in here? I'm with my family and my cousin family. Okay, okay. This is uh, my uncle's daughter. Yes. Uh, my son is there. Okay, okay. This is my wife. I don't know. This child was born in May. Okay, okay. Uh, so he's a Russian age. Okay. My daughter is also here. Okay. okay. I have uh, three children. Okay. My mother is still at the uh, so tell us how you managed to escape. Well, uh, well, this this incident happened on 18 uh, in the morning at 3 a.m. A uh, lot of gunshots happened in the east of the town. And then, of course, we know it is the same issue that happened in Juba that has come to war. So we ran to the north of war. From there, we, we spent a night. Uh, in the morning, we could hear gun still being shot, and they were too close to us. So we ran further to the north. Uh, on uh, on 20th, because I was uh, separated with my children, my children were living in the village, and I was working in the town. So I have to find a way toward the source to find my family. So I went to the east, up to Konyang, Payam, and uh, from Konyang, I couldn't find a way to the source where my children are. So until uh, the government posted captured board from the, the loyalists of uh, the my child, I have to play is to go back to the town and uh, find a way. To I spent two nights in board town on the third day. It wasn't the legation of uh, the white army have mobilized themselves and they are coming to what war again. So plan security coordinator called me and told me, come out of war. Unmis has informed that the law men are coming to what war. So it will be dangerous. So I left war and went to the source of where my family is. From there, I couldn't spend a night. It was worse. Everybody was footing toward Juba. So, and I was not having cash at hand at that moment. So, I have to call Juba office if they can find a way to send a car to pick us at that location. It was difficult for plan to reach a car and a driver to come to board and pick my family. They told me to find a way at least to cross river to a warrior county at a place called Bwali. So I did it. We get some money from someone. We flee to the other side of the river and let it uh, From there, plan send me some money to facilitate paying the money that I have used for the support and also to take me up to Juba, where they can help at that point. So everything went well. I got the money they sent. I went to Juba with my children. I was received by plan staff in Juba, accommodated. And in the morning, 
we were uh, given some money to use for a bus fare up to Nimile. From Nimile, uh, my wife also got some sickness and to take her to the clinic for two nights and we came to Jaffi, where I am now. So, uh, what can plan respond to? What are the needs of the children here at the refugee camp? Uh, well, uh, the needs of children are many, but we, we can prioritize them. Uh, plan cannot do it all, but can do it with the help of the other partners who are working in the country. Uh, one of the things now will be the health issue and, and the dressing of the separated children. And, uh, those who are already whom their uh, mothers or fathers are here and have remained there, including the old age. Uh, these people are the most vulnerable groups who need immediate assistance, especially these uh, separated children to be traced. And if these people living with them are their relatives, they can be assisted in anything, whether providing places for them, because they have left everything they were happy. It will be helpful and will show plan disability to see these people. Uh, the old age can also be seen what, what is the immediate need for them. Also, the majority of these children were in the school. But because of this emergency and displacement, they will not continue their learning because there are no structures in place. Uh, so I will, I will suggest if land can help these children build some temporal learning space for them for education in emergencies, so that to avoid the gap of these children going to school, it will be nice. It will be helpful until they are settled and the UNHCR can make any permanent plan for them. The issue of water and sanitation. There are no latrines available, there is no much water. The little water that is there is being supplied using water tank. One family can stay for two nights without water until in the third night that water is, is, is actually that the person gets the water. So if land can intervene, to help also in water and sanitation it would be great. At least to dig some public latrine within the campsite. Not actually here. Here is, is even said to be better than the camp that we are taking. So if land can intervene, dig public latrine in all those blocks that people are settled in, it would be great. And we help. Also, when a board was taken, uh, nothing has been left for land in that. Place. I went to the office when the government forces uh, to take the town. So the vehicles and the motorcycles were all looted by the rebels. The land office now in board destroyed. There are no chairs. I went myself after the board was taken. But up to now, I don't know the status. We pray as much as possible to be established. Thank you. I'm happy to see you. Likewise. <laughs> it's always nice to be alive. Thank you. Thank you.